Yeah, I'll take it away. So I'd like to take you back to the 3rd of October, 2007. Celtic are engaged in a Titanic Champions League tie with the reigning European <laughs> champions, AC Milan. Yep, yep. The game is delicately balanced at one each after Stephen McManus, I think, has scored for Celtic. And there was a controversial penalty awarded to AC Milan converted by Kaka. Yeah. Games enter in its mm-hmm. final stages. Mm-hmm. Scott Brown has the ball. He lays it off to Gary Cogwell, who almost tries to sneak a shot from about 20 yards into the near post. And the AC Milan keeper, one Dida, <laughs> dies for the ball, spills the ball, and there's an easy tap in for Scott McDonald and Celtic Park goes absolutely ballistic. I'm sure everybody's seen the goals. Very, very oh, yeah. famous. I, I was there that night. I remember it well. <laughs> yeah, what a great moment. <laughs> I just so, said, when you talk about what happened next. <laughs> so that is why. So you're probably wondering where the D come in, this comes in. So my, my wild card D is in fact Dida, the AC Milan goalkeeper. So immediately after that goal goes in, Scott McDonald runs to the corner flag to celebrate. And the AC Milan keeper is brutally chopped down <laughs> yeah. by a 7-foot giant who storms his way out in the park and poleaxes him, knocks him out cold to the, such an extent and he needs to be stretched off the park. Um, the last I mean, it's an absolute disgrace. <laughs> Sorry. I think it the last strikes, didn't he, in the pitch? <laughs> I thought I'd seen a priest die. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was horrific, wasn't it? <laughs> it was horrific. I mean, Celtic, would they, they kicked out of Europe for the next five years? So I believe so, it? yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so, as you all know, what actually happened was that some Ned jumped in from the crowd onto the park for some reason, playfully taps Nida on the face and runs away. And then the AC Milan goalkeeper decides to chase him for what, three or four steps and then decides, no, it's a better idea if I just collapse to the floor and don't get up to the next 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know if I thought nobody would record it. <laughs> like, it's a Champions League game. You just I know. Know, nobody's going to notice the fact that I've just been running. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> I know. Yeah, what, what is going through your mind, son? Yeah. Yeah. Um, as it turned out, I, mean, I seem to remember the after the game, the, the referee came into like, the press box and he asked to see a recording of what took in place. And he took like one look at it and stormed back out. And then in his report, obviously, he just like, threw the guy under the bus. And I think Dida initially got a three-match ban for feigning an injury. Um, ultimately, it was reduced to one match. But, I mean, it was just so stupid. That it's, I mean, it's funny now when you look at it. But at the time, you were actually genuinely worried that something was going to come of it. You know, that we're going to sort of replay I, yeah, the game or overturn the result. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, I, was, I was worried um, because you, that, that exact thing, you're thinking are we going to be playing behind closed doors or something next game? Because, I mean, ultimately, we shouldn't have guys running onto the pitch and Absolutely. touching opposition players in you know, <laughs> any manner. Uh, I get that. I think it was... The thing is, I think, had Dida not reacted the way he did, I think we would have been probably in more trouble. <laughs> If he did a drop to the ground or just went straight uh, to the ref? No, so if he basically, uh, yeah, if he like, tried yeah. to chase him and then just basically left him and then went and kicked up, you know, stink yeah. about it, you know, told the referee and all this, and he probably could have made some effort to say, you know, that's, I'm, I'm walking off, blah, blah, blah. You <laughs> never know. It's, <laughs> had he know, had it's the fact that he had to get the stretcher on, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I know. It's just... <laughs> it's embarrassing. Yeah. But... And anyway, I, mean, I suppose I'm really just mentioning this just to shoehorn in the fact that Celtic beat the reigning European champions. You know, the Champions League game it was a brilliant <laughs> night. You know, you've got an AC Milan team that, you know, that had you know Pirlo in it, who is one of the finest players of his generation. You've got Clarence Seedorf, who won the Champions League with three different clubs. You've got Kaka, who was World Football of the Year, possibly even that year. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure because he won the European Cup, obviously, in, in May of that year. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. and you've got. Um, and Zaggy up front as well, you know, who was one of the finest goal scorers of his generation. I mean, there was some team, and, you know, and we got a result against them. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a great moment. You're right back in the days when, well, don't get me wrong, I, I don't think those days have gone forever. I mean, they're not, it's not that long ago we beat Barcelona, mm-hmm. you know, that, that same kind of level of team. So, um, but yeah, we did, obviously, kind of in the 2000s have, have so many great results at home in the Champions League. And that, that certainly sticks in my mind as well, as, as one of the best. 
yeah. It's always great to beat the actual, you know, the reigning champions. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you can kind of unofficially say, oh, we're European champions then, right? <laughs> 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 I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it seems like the kind of uh, yeah. title that Rangers would claim, Barry, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 like the 75 oh, no, I'm stepping <laughs> to the level. Oh. <laughs> Our um, season week title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, great, great shout, Barry, Dida, and yeah, great. Yeah. Of that night. <laughs>